James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 22nd, 2022, 4.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell for critical future updates. This is NASA's warning that they have released for July 22nd and July 23rd. Please remember that's UTC time. It will be July 23rd at 6 p.m. Central here in the U.S. Now, we see that two CMEs or coronal mass ejections have been sent towards Earth. They are pointing towards these coronal holes and saying that this is going to be caused by the coronal holes. Instead of the explosions now, you can see coronal hole O2 and O1 here. And they have very heavy plasma hitting at the same time the solar winds hit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, those coral holes have not been Earth-facing for some time, as I will show you. Now, they've warned of a G1 today, which we've already seen. A G2 starting any time, uh, well, very soon. And they've even mentioned a large probability of a G3 class geomagnetic solar storm, which would be a very strong storm. So I want you to see the auroras they're calling out now. If it is just a KP5, only a few of the northern states and all of Canada would be able to see these auroras. As you can see, the arrow pointing to the light green line here. The next arrow, I guess, is supposed to point to the yellow area between the yellow and green line here. And if we saw a KP6, we would see auroras uh, down as far as, well, as you can see here, Utah, Idaho, uh, Montana, Wyoming, Nebraska, just take it all the way around. Even our boy Dan will be seeing auroras with the predicted G2 storm, a KP6. Now they have come out today and said that we could see a G3 very strong storm. If that occurs, we would see auroras down to the red line. That would be a KP7 storm. This would mean people as far south as maybe Tennessee, Illinois, Kansas, Colorado would all see the auroras as well. G1 minor geomagnetic storming is likely the 22nd of July due to the effects of a pair of negative polarity CHHSs. Storm levels are likely to increase to G2 moderate early on the 23rd with the arrival of the 21st of July CME that resulted from a filament eruption that was centered near N15 West 01. Here we see that at first we had some ramped up plasma here. I see a 22 print. I see another 22 print. I see a... 22 print. It continues. Uh, and as soon as the plasma dies down, you'll see the solar winds actually increase. Now, these are the slowest solar winds I've ever seen. If they're moving at 550 to 600 kilometers per second, they should have hit Earth long ago, as we all know, about a day and a half ago. What's going on in bizarro world, folks? Now, first, over to GO-16, 195 angstroms. They're blaming these two coral holes here on the solar winds that we're experiencing right now. These have not been Earth-facing for four or more days. I was expecting them two days ago, i.e. moving at the speeds they are. All right, here we are on the 22nd. We know we have solar winds at 550 to 600 kilometers per second. I did predict that to happen on the 21st, not the 22nd. I have no idea if the winds are moving that fast, how they got here so slowly. And you'll see the WSA Animal Prediction Center here guessing the solar winds would be starting at about 300 kilometers per second. And at 6 p.m. tonight, they would end at around 400 kilometers per second. Again, they're between 550 and 600 as we just saw. Bad guess. They see a brick wall at 6 p.m. tonight. Central time here in the U.S. 0-100 UTC time on the 23rd. 
they see that same brick wall of plasma. Somehow it's going to hit satellite ahead, satellite behind, and Earth all at the same time. And they have plasma exceeding 35 centimeters cubed. Uh, some of the other estimates out of NASA and the ESA are even stronger. So tinfoil hats on, seat belts on. Brace yourself, guys. Inbound, we should start seeing that very shortly. And that does mean a possible earthquake uptick as we've seen in the past. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.